going on guys welcome back to the channel thank you for cooling with Jay as always so guys in today's video I'm gonna talk about my experience being a youtuber for the very first time kind of go through how it's been the first uh, seven ish eight months of my YouTube career and kind of going through some of the things I've learned things I've experienced um, and things I wish I would have changed and yeah obviously you're looking at my Ducati V4 which is my uh, first motorcycle obviously it's what I started my channel about was moto vlogging and uh, gaming content on my channel with some other video and photography things mixed in there and yeah this is my first bike uh, of course I started on a leader bike I've done mods to it uh, carbon from shift tech competition works exhaust and cox racing radiator guard amongst other things um yeah it's been a great experience this year on my channel and of course primarily my uh viewers enjoy my bike content the most no shocker there i hope to one day get my gaming content up to that level so yeah with that being said let us go for a ride and start this discussion it's been great man I'll tell you this, it's been a great um, experience vlogging on a bike. I have my GoPro on the back of my bike tail, so this is going to be interesting. I pray to God I don't use, I don't lose this GoPro. It's on there with the 3M tape, but you know how that stuff is. Hopefully it stays. So yeah, what is it like being a YouTuber? And having a channel. What? How was he going so fast on that on that skateboard? Um, and what it's been like being a YouTuber on, well, YouTube, obviously. So we can get out of here in the traffic. It has been an experience, man. It's something I've always wanted to do. I've watched YouTubers uh, for the, like the past, I want to say, eh, five, six years. Everything. Gaming content, bike content, how to connect this adapter to this, and that, all kind of stuff, right? I've always wanted to get into YouTube. Uh, I've always wanted to be a YouTuber. I can't necessarily, I thought I was going to do motor vlogging content this early. I thought my life's going to be a little bit different to get me up, up to this point. I thought it was going to be different, you know, to get me up to this point. I thought it would be more of gaming content, to be honest. That's why I thought my chance would be more primarily around. Because I thought the dream of me owning my dream bike, or a motorcycle for that matter, was kind of out of reach. And obviously, as you can tell, it's not. So I thank God for that, for sure. Um, I will say, one of the biggest, like I said, there's no order of like, I'm not doing like a top 5, top 10 type thing. I'm just kind of going through the experience, man. Uh, I will say, the first thing that was nervous for me was talking in front of a camera you know e even though there's nobody around it still felt weird you know what I'm saying um, it still felt weird it still felt weird for the first time you know having my camera looking at a screen and I'll say People talk about it who are vloggers a lot or on YouTuber. It's true. Being on YouTube, the first thing you realize is you don't you look at the screen like the LCD screen of the camera and not the actual lens. So I can't tell you how many times I shot my first YouTube video because I'm looking at the uh, screen to see what I look like in the camera and not the actual lens what I should be looking at in the camera and so that took some practice um, I will say getting better at making sure I had the content I wanted written down because what, what you don't realize is starting a YouTube channel is you have all these thoughts right of things you want to say how you want to say them how you want to, to be projected you know what you want the audience to take away from it you get in front of the camera you have all the thoughts five minutes in you blank out 
you you had a few points you wanted to go over and next thing you know you've forgotten them all having them script down now i will say this you know i'm gonna make a moto vlog video about the experience about being a moto vlogger but one of the things i will say that we have a disadvantage about is for us we can't i can't look at a script you know there's no sheet of paper somewhere where i can look at it and be like oh yeah these are the thoughts i had so when people talk about you know you're rambling or whatever else talking it's a challenge man to make a 15 minute video and remember exactly all the key points you wanted to hit you know uh i will say i will say also being a youtuber man one of the things i learned in the beginning as well was uh making making the title and the topic different but attracting the audience about a similar topic if that makes any sense for example i know in the youtube community or the moto vlog community that you know which the target i was going after talks a lot about your leader bike and your starter bike and all that kind of stuff and i knew that's what i wanted my topic to be about right but the thing i didn't realize is i couldn't i couldn't title it that way reason why because there's so many youtubers who've done it who are more popular and who have done more content than me so therefore what would happen is mine would get lost mine's on page 500 you know and that's something that i realized you know that i had to go back so i will say and, and when i say this guys i am not sponsored by them so i just want y'all to know this i'm not sponsored they're not paying me to say this but the biggest thing that's helped me from my youtube channel has been too funny Without a doubt, TubeBuddy has been, has single-handedly almost changed my YouTube content around. The reason why TubeBuddy has helped me out so much is because you want the title of your YouTube video to be something that's not competitive, but highly searched and have people looking for it all at the same time. So it's a weird trifecta. and. You might think, oh, I'm going to make a video about, our, you know, Ducati versus Yamaha. Yeah, it's searched a lot, true, but it's very competitive. And let's just say, for example, somebody will let you know, for that title, the average view count, let's just say, is 22,000 people. The average is 22,000. I'm just throwing out a number, obviously. The average is 22,000. And one of the guys making the most has 148,000 views for this video and you're just starting out so it's clear that that video even though it's popular it's going to give you a poor rating so when i downloaded tubebuddy or do the monthly plan or whatever for for uh tubebuddy i i went back through all my 80 videos or so and rechanged all the descriptions all the titles because i realized is that even though they were what i thought viewers were searching for which they were the problem was is that it was so competitive that the viewers it wasn't getting to them because we all know how it is you know how many how many times have you gone to page two or three be honest when you're when you're searching for a youtube video how often do you go to page two or three to search for that same video i bet you most of y'all don't get past page one maybe the seventh result maybe that's a strong maybe too oh traffic gotta love it right that's a strong maybe that time i get to one seven so that's the guys for those of you who want to start off making youtube and what is it like man it's it's a challenge that's what you're fighting all the time is trying to make something new but that search for highly at the same time and it comes down to it comes down to you know how much is it searched for you know what i'm saying so it's a it's a tricky thing that you have to that you won't get perfect down your first time so don't expect it because i wasn't perfect on it and i'm still i'm still getting good at it um 
I would say also making, you know, the experience of being a YouTuber is, you know, and again, this might be different for other YouTubers, you know what I'm saying, I'm not sure how they are, but for the most part, it is positive, and I know one of the fears that people have is what's the, what's the response going to be like, you know, afraid of the criticism, and there will be, for sure. You will get criticized on your channel. There's no doubt about it. Sorry, the ambulance. Oh. She didn't even see him the whole time. Like, what was she looking at? Like, you gotta be kidding me. Like, he was literally up on top of her. Unbelievable. People, man. Unfreaking believable. Um, but yeah, like, I, I have one video. I'll give you an example, right? Because it rates it from 1 to 100. So it gives you a rating. 1 is bad, obviously, and 100 is perfect or amazing, right? So, I'll give you an idea. I had a video that was, and I'll link, and I'll link the description down below. It was basically, uh... I start on a leader bike, was it a good idea? Something along those lines. It was, was me starting on a leader bike a good idea? Right? And I'm thinking, oh, I'm about to, I'm about to murder it, right? I'm about to kill it. Oh, everybody named Mom want to talk about this. Look at Top Golf. I've always enjoyed Top Golf. So anyway, um, like, oh yeah, I'm gonna murder this thing, right? People are gonna wanna search for this. It's gonna get searched a lot. It's gonna be golden, right? Not so much. Is that my road? Okay, now. Um, so, after like a month or so, like I had like a thousand views, like it did, it did good, but not as good as what I thought it was gonna do, right? So, when I popped it into TubeBuddy and put that same title in the TubeBuddy, TubeBuddy gave me like an eight out of a hundred, you know? An eight out of a hundred that video got. And I was bummed. I was, I was really disappointed. I'm like, man, all that hard work that went into thinking about the video, what I wanted to say, the title, I'm thinking about the, you know, blow the internet. That's all I thought. Like, yo, this title is gonna blow the internet up. And it didn't. And it hurt me, you know what I'm saying, to that, to, to, to that extent, because I was like, I thought it was going to be much more popular viewed. And what I realized that TubeBuddy was showing me was this, it was a popular title, and there's so much competition that that video was maybe on page six, six or seven. So, that was that. So, go on next to like the, like, like the criticism. Like, I've gotten some. Some hurt my feelings. Some of it I needed to hear, you know. So... In the beginning with YouTube, like I'm sure, now for those of you starting out, I need to hear this, this is very important, right? Is this whole YouTube algorithm thing, right? And how YouTube decides how effective your video is, I'm just using that as a term, how effective your video is based on different things, right? So, I know tons of people do this whole, gonna not turn out on me, tons of people do this whole sub for sub thing, right? If you sub to my channel, you know, yada, 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 I'll sub back and all this, right? And sub for sub is bad, okay? Now, this is not coming from me. I can link plenty of, this, plenty of videos down there of, of people who have millions of followers on their channel will tell you sub for sub is terrible because you're messing with the YouTube algorithm. Because what you're going to get is two, four, five hundred people subscribing to your channel and don't give a crap about what you're actually posting. So YouTube is going to look at you like, eh, you're, you're getting a lot of subscribers, but they're not really watching your video. So to me, you get a low rating. That's what they're going to do. And that's not what you want, right? You want a mixture of both, obviously. You want to be the, to be the channel or be the, the video that people want to see. At the same time, you want to grow your channel organically. And that's the key. You do not want to do the whole stuff for something. We all know how this world works. People don't want to do unless you do for them. That's just the reality of it. My thought process was if I make longer videos, 
if I can get four people to watch 10 minutes of a video, like a 10 minutes long, rather than, you know, six watch three minutes, obviously as far as time goes, I'm not getting more views, obviously. Like if more people watch it for less time, to me that was bad. I want less people to watch more time, not more people to watch less time. But well, what ended up happening is that people would see my videos and they'd be like, oh, I don't buy it. You know, 45 minutes to watch a gaming video, so I'm a, I'll watch this a different time, or I'll watch it at all. So, you know, I was losing viewers and things because of this. Something I had to learn, right? I wasn't trying to. I was just thinking of, okay, if I know I need subscribers, if I know I need views, if I know I want to grow my channel, then if I have longer videos, then they'll watch more of it. Something you should do for those of you who want to start out making a, to become a YouTuber, is put on paper, man. Write out, m map out what you want to talk about. Map out what you, what you want to get to viewers. Your, your, your idea, your inspiration. You know, you know, you know. Come up with your strategy before they're jumping on their YouTube. What is going on, guys? So yeah, I wanted to cut the video right there, um, because in post when I was editing the video and going through that whole process, I realized that the video was way longer than what I was hoping it was. But it's all good. I just decided to cut it into two parts, part one and part two. So we are done with part one. I'll be posting part two next week. Um, in the meantime, if y'all have any questions on the current topics I was talking about, please feel free to leave comments down below. Also hit me up on social media as well. If you have any questions, like I said, I'm very active on my Snapchat my Instagram and I'm trying to get better at Twitter. I've just never been a Twitter person, but I'm trying to get better at that as well. All those links will be down below. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I, again, thank you for watching my video. If you haven't already, please subscribe as it greatly helps on my channel and also hit that bell to stay up to date on any future video coming out. So yeah, guys, with that being said, I will see y'all in the next video.